Popular on the road and successful on the track, the original Mini was an inspiration for the team behind Racing Mimi. And no, I didn't mean Mini, I actually meant Mimi. It originally debuted in 2020 as a purpose-built electric machine in Romania's Hill Climb National Championship. Last year, it tackled an extended motorsport season and now it's changing its name for 2022. It'll be known as the Mimi Evo to signal it's a follow-up to the original build to become more competitive. In the past three months, the Zero Emissions race car has been subjected to several modifications to shave off weight. For example, Brembo brakes are taken from the Mini John Cooper Works, while the handbrake is now hydraulic. The engineers have also stiffened up the body and suspension to make the Mimi Evo sharper around the corners. Mandatory for the Road Legal Cooper SE, the anti-lock brakes and dynamic stability control have been deactivated. These major changes come after nearly 20 races in the last 18 months during which two weeks were spent testing on the circuit. Some electronic modules had to be rebuilt and there's now a new system to monitor the battery and drivetrain. The Mimi Evo has been fully inspected and repaired to make sure it'll be up to the task for the 2022 season. A race car's development never ends, hence why subsequent updates are planned to be implemented in the coming months. For this season, the revised track-only Mini Cooper SE will take part in approximately 20 races in four different Romanian championships, Women Rally, Super Rally, National Super Slalom, and National Coastal Speed. In the aforementioned Hill Climb National Championship, the Mimi Evo will wear the number 128 number as a nod to 1968. What happened that year? Nicky Lauda made his motorsport debut behind the wheel of a Mini Cooper S. He finished second in his inaugural race before winning the next three. Aside from switching to a different number, the 2022 spec racer wears a new blue livery with contrasting yellow accents. So if you think it's not possible to race an electric Mini Cooper, case in point. I'm looking forward to learning a little bit more about this car, and I'm hoping that we might be seeing a test vehicle from the John Cooper Works racing team in the coming years using an electric Mini. But until next time, thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, life is too short to drive a boring car, so drive a Mini.